My inspiration for yin yoga comes from my lifelong interest in Taoism. Yin is the deep restorative work that we do holding the asanas for several minutes in very deep stretches. The yin sequence is nurturing, restorative, and combined with deep breathing, it engages our diaphragm and it engages the relaxation response. It induces the relaxation response because it engages the parasympathetic nervous system. So it brings us into a coherent state of being. It engages the unconscious mind. And that, in contrast to the yang sequence, which is the active dynamic sequence, that is more in the conscious cognitive mind, engaging the sympathetic nervous system, the fear, fight or flight response, this is the yang sequence, which is very aerobic and very energizing for the muscular and respiratory systems. So these two sequences and the yin following the yang sequence is rather like the symbol of yin and yang itself, the Tao symbol, the black and white circular symbol of yin and yang. One completes the other. The two sequences together bring us into wholeness, engaging both the conscious mind cognitive mind as well as a somatic mind, the unconscious mind, bring us, bringing us into a generative sense of self. This whole video and in particular the yin sequences have been inspired by my teacher Simon Lowe which is inspired in turn by Taoist yoga. And the sequences of the yin postures that I've put together for this video are designed specifically to stimulate the different energy meridians around the body. There, there are 14 different meridians that circulate in one flow around the body. And these postures work deeply into these. Nested deep within the connective tissue and myofascial system, the stretches really stimulate the chi energy, the prana flowing through these meridians. And combined with the deep rhythmic breathing that we maintain throughout the sequences, this stimulates the, subtle, the flow of subtle energy around the body, stimulating the pranayama koshas and the other koshas that are the subtle energetic channels that through the yin practice in particular we can open ourselves up to. So we can open into a deeper sense of self, a deeper sense of being through relaxing and breathing into the yin Asanas. And one of the many benefits of this work is that it builds reservoirs of energy, reservoirs of chi energy that will engage us and energize us and restore balance to our entire system. In this video I'm only holding the postures for two minutes or so and what you may find that as you familiarize yourself with the sequence of yin asanas, the postures, if you become familiar with them and comfortable with them, you may want to hold them for longer. So it's simply a matter then of pausing the video. So having the remote control to hand and pausing the video in the posture that you're doing. And then it's up to you how long you would like to remain in the posture for. Simply pressing that pause button and opening up to the quality, flow and depth of the breath. Enjoy. So beginning with our first posture, just a centering and balancing exercise. Sit in Vajrasan with the knees folded, the seat bones resting on the heels, really stretch through the thighs. Lower hand on the belly, upper hand on the chest and breathe deep into the belly. Getting ready to move into the first posture and opening supported back bend and resting posture. Using the bolster, bring the back of the hips in direct contact, bend the knees, bring the knees and the feet together. And remember each of these postures as we just ease into them on this video are held very short period of time. Ideally, these postures are held for five to 10 minutes each. As you start, it may be three minutes. Opening the arms and allowing the knees to ease out to either side, bringing the soles of the feet together. This is a very opening, grounding and balancing posture to do at the beginning of the practice. It stimulates the adrenals and helps lift our mood, helps to ease depression and brings chi and vitality through the opening of the chest. 
folding the arms above the body, bringing them onto the head. Moving into the second posture, this time using the bolster with the legs extended, big toes together, knees wide, folding into the knees, folding the body over the bolster. This again, a very grounding, calming posture, great for anxiety, encourages a deep spinal extension. Sit deep into the hips and hold this posture again three to five minutes to begin with up to a maximum of 10 minutes remembering to turn the head to either side you can also do the same posture but without the bolster it encourages an even deeper stretch into the hips and in particular extension through the thoracic spine works on the spleen and liver meridians in the legs very grounding and centering you may want to pause the video at this point to hold this posture for a good three minutes to begin with, working up to five, even 10 minutes. Breathing deeply in all of these postures is absolutely vital. Slow, deep, even breaths. And for the next posture, banana pose, lying on the back, extending the arms overhead, holding the right, the left arm with the right hand and shuffling on the shoulders to twist or to bend rather. So you feel an extension all the way down the left side of the body, crossing the right leg over the left ankle and holding this posture again for the same period of time, pausing the video at this point. And then we need to do banana on the other side. So as the left hand grips the right wrist, bending all the way around to the left, feeling that stretch down the right side of the body. The legs too may bend, but do make sure that you've got a good solid contact with the sacrum and the back of the hips. And breathing deeply and slowly into this nice lateral myofascial stretch, energizing. The next posture, Jatara Parivatanasan, bringing the knees over the chest, arms out. And as you breathe out, extending the knees all the way down to the right side to begin with. Feet stuck on top of one another. To make this twist, this spinal twist, a bit stronger, right hand on left knee and turn the head to look down the extended left arm. Holding this three, five minutes, working up to 10 minutes. And then repeating this spinal twist on the other side. So this gives us a lovely rotation through the spine, very good for back problems. Just take your knees down to what's comfortable for you, bringing them as close to the chest as possible to work deeper into the stretch. Very opening for the heart centre and working into the lungs. Breathing deep and slowly in each posture. Half shoulder stand, an inversion, using the block beneath the hips, raising the legs, keeping them soft, knees bent, arms above the head. Holding this for a good three to five minutes to begin with. The inversion helps blood flow to the brain and it's a very good stress reliever. And now Makrasana, so coming onto the front of the body, legs just a little way apart, bringing the elbows close beneath the chin and holding the chin in the hands, just supporting the chin in the hands, keep a little bit of tension on the abdominals. This stretches through the front of the body, the stomach meridian and the superficial front line. Great counteraction to kyphosis. And then this can be extended into the seal posture, bringing the arms down onto the floor, about mat width apart, and pushing up to hold an extended back bend with the legs apart, really feeling the back bend in the lumbar area, a little tension in the abdomen to support the back. Great for counteracting sway back and the tendency for extension through the toes, which is uh, or caused by a tight superficial front line and activates the kidney and adrenal cortex too. So invigorating and a strong stretch. And just fold back into Shishankasana, taking the hips onto the heels. And getting ready for Akapada Raja Kapotasana, the pigeon posture. So coming to all fours kneeling, bringing the toes under. As you breathe out, stretch all the way up into down dog, stretching through the shoulders, lifting the right leg as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring that leg down onto the floor. The little inset box here shows pretzel posture, the alternative to this pose. 
and then stretching back all the way through the left leg making sure that you bring the right buttock onto the floor if not you need a prop such as a block and folding forwards this is a fantastic posture for the deep hip flexors the piriformis and is great for sciatica holding this posture is tough it's hard work but try and do this for a good three to five minutes on either side breathing deeply into the posture then we need to repeat it on the other side this time with the left leg so we swing the leg through we bend the knee we take the foot to the outside of the mat remember to dorsiflex the foot which protects the knee and then slide the right leg all the way back the pigeon posture is shown in the inset and you simply take the left foot onto the right knee and lift the right leg same kind of stretch deep into the deep hip flexors you'll feel it down the outside of the back of the left thigh folding forward making sure that your seat bone on the left side gets all the way down to the floor because if it doesn't you do need support of a block beneath you or alternatively do the pretzel posture it's a strong posture holding this three to five minutes in the beginning of your yin practice coming out of it by just gently pushing up through the knee getting ready for the next posture taking the legs wide wide leg forward bend upavista kanasana quite nice to use the bolster in this manner as you can see on the video always keep your feet in dorsiflexion so that we roll out through the inner thighs and just ease forward using the bolster for support until you feel the stretch of course the full posture can be done without the bolster really engaging and energizing through the liver and bladder meridians just easing the front of the body down onto the floor be careful of the sacroiliac joint which tends to move into nutation and watch those inner knees bending the knees if you need to it's a great stretch for the adductors the gracilis and the hamstrings and finally just bringing the legs cross-legged easing forwards into a forward bend with the legs in a comfortable cross-legged posture crossing the arms over onto the knees bringing the elbows down onto the floor holding this for as long as is comfortable it's a great stretch through the small intestine and the triple burner meridians in the heart area and then to finish off bringing the body down onto the floor lying on the back of the body in the posture of shavasan legs a little way apart arms away from the body back of the hands on the floor back of the neck long eyes closed breathing in and out through the nostrils and resting in shavasana perhaps now doing yoga nidra for a good minimum 20 minutes so very quick short and sweet trip through a yin sequence remembering that this nowhere near reflects the length of time that we will hold the yin postures in a natural yin practice using the video to pause and hold the stretches deeper and deeper as and when you're ready